My lips and cheerful heart prepare to make your mercies known. Come all that fear my God and hear the wonders God has done. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is evening prayer for Friday, May the 9th. It's the third week in Easter and week two in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 35, Exodus chapter 24, verse 1 through 18. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Hallelujah. Psalm 35. Hallelujah. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Fight them that fight me. Take hold of shield and buckler. Stand up and help me. Draw the spear and stop them that persecute me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that plot my harm. Let them be like chaff before the wind and let your angel chase them. Let their path be dark and slippery and let your angel persecute them. For without cause they have hid their net in a pit to take me alive. Let destruction surprise them, and let them be caught in the net that they have hid. Into that very pit let them fall. My soul shall be joyful in you, and rejoice in your salvation. My whole being shall say, My God, who is like you, who delivers the poor from the oppressor, and the needy from those that rob them. False witnesses rise up. They charge me unjustly. They rewarded me evil for good, and my soul is in despair. But when they were sick, I dressed in sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and I prayed with my whole heart. As if they had been my friends or brothers, I bowed down and grieved, as one mourns for his mother. But they rejoiced when I stumbled. They gathered themselves together. They gathered themselves against me. They surprised me and tore me to pieces and would not stop. They mocked me and put me to the test. They gnashed me with their teeth. O oh God, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions and save my life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you among the peoples. Let not my lying enemies rejoice over me. Do not let them that hate me with that without cause wink at each other. For they do not wish for peace, but they devise plots against the peaceful in the land. They open their mouths wide against me and said, Aha, with our own eyes we have seen it. You saw it, O God. Keep not your silence and be not far from me. Arise and awake to my cause. Come to my defense, my God most high. Vindicate me, my God. According to your righteousness, do not let them rejoice over me. Do not let them say in their hearts, Ah, just as we would have it, we have swallowed him up. Let them that rejoice at my heart at my hurt, be ashamed and confused. Let them that boast against me be clothed in shame and dishonor. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Let them ever say how great you are who takes pleasure in my prosperity. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and sing your praise all the day long. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Plead my cause, O God most high, with them that strive against me. 
Hallelujah. A reading from the Exodus, chapter 24, beginning at verse 1. And then God said to Moses, Come up to the Most High, you and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship at a distance. Moses alone shall come near the Most High, but the others shall not come near, and the people shall not come up with him. Moses came and told the people all the words of the Most High and all the ordinances, and all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words that the Most High has spoken we will do. And Moses wrote down all the words of the Most High. He rose early in the morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain, and he set up twelve pillars corresponding to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the people of Israel who offered burnt offerings, and sacrificed oxen as offerings of well-being to the Most High. Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he dashed against the altar. And then he took the book of the covenant, and he read it in the hearing of the people, and they said, All that the Most High has spoken we will do, and we will be obedient. And Moses took the blood and dashed it on the people and said, See, the blood of the covenant that the Most High has made with you in accordance with these words. And then Moses and Aaron and Nadab and Abihu and 70 of the elders of Israel went up and they saw the God of Israel. Under his feet there was something like a pavement of sapphire stones, like the very heaven for clearness. God did not lay his hands on the chief men of the people of Israel. Also they beheld God, and they ate and drank. And the Most High said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and wait there, and I will give you the tablets of stone with the law and the commandment, which I have written for their instruction. So Moses set out with his assistant Joshua and went up into the mountain of God to the elders. He had said, Wait here for us until we come to you again. For Aaron and Hur are with you, and whoever has a dispute may go to them. Then Moses went up on the mountain, and the cloud covered the mountain, and the glory of the Most High settled on Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it for six days. On the seventh day he called the Moses out of the cloud. Now the appearance of the glory of the Most High was like a devouring fire on the top of the mountain in the sight of the people of Israel. And Moses entered the cloud and went up on the mountain. And Moses was on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ and for those who are alone. For the sick, especially Carol, and for they, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, especially Roger, Robert and Roger and Christian. For the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who died, especially Howard and Elmer and Dwight, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For the mercy of God community and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O saving God, we rejoice at your mighty help. May we live our lives in your joy, and may our mouths ever praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.